Okay, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hello, Mayra. Hello, good evening. How good are evening. you? Good evening. Fine, thank you. And you? Hello, Hi. Eliana. Fine, thanks. Excellent. Adriana, good evening. Catherine, good evening. David, hello there. Good evening, everyone. Hello, Miguel. Jennifer, good evening. We have Miguel good over evening. there. We have Carla, good evening. Okay, we have uh, Adriana, good evening. Welcome back. Good evening. Carla, Tatiana, okay, so it's getting better. I have five people. No, no, I have nine people in the group. Okay, and still waiting for the rest. Okay, welcome back. Um, I hope that that you are a very energetic tonight, and that you that you can um participate very actively in the class. Okay, as far as I remember, you had a homework, right? So I I love to start by checking homework assignments because mingle the people gather people who are having a gathering to the class they. Then can we can make some some minutes so that they can um solve their problems, okay, to get into the class. So uh, let me see. I think Eliana takes notes all the time about homework assignments. Can you can you uh, let us know about what was the homework assignment? Uh, yes, teacher. It was about write down a letter. It was about writing down the letter, okay. Yes, and the other one was to write. Um, it was about the conversation we were listening to, and we have to write it down as well. You had to present the script about the conversation, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, thank you, Iliana. And let me see, Adriana, can you share the, the homework assignment with the people in the group? Hi, everybody. Uh, teacher, Hi. I didn't do my homework because my son very, very uh, sick. Oh, I'm sorry. And I didn't, sick. sorry. Okay, don't worry, Adriana. We understand. And we hope your baby gets well soon. Carla, did you do the homework? Mm, more or less, uh, but I don't finish the conversation. I don't write. Uh, you, I don't... you didn't finish? Was it difficult? No, not so difficult, but... Um, I have a problem with my headphones. Oh, you had problems with your headphones, so you yes. couldn't listen to it very well. No, it, yes, <laughs> because my cat uh, broke my headphones. Oh, oh my goodness! All right, now I think it's better if I ask for volunteers. Okay, volunteer who wants to share a homework assignment with the group. We need to see the script of the conversation, right? And also, yeah. if you if you type a, a letter to somebody, okay, that would be fantastic if you if you share it to the group. Volunteers at one. Otherwise, we're gonna go, we're gonna move on with the activities um, about the topic for tonight. That's a, a really nice topic uh, also. But you know, I I really like to give the opportunity to the participants to share the info they have gotten. Raise your hand if you want to share info, the script, the letter. No one in this group. Is there anybody ready? Anyways, I will ask then at the end, okay, I will, uh, I will ask for participants at the end. Yeah, remember, um, homework assignments are, are a sign for you to improve your English, right? 
for you to um, keep in mind that you have to keep in, I mean, you have to keep in contact with the language, okay? That you remember that the, 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 the real way to learn the English is not only like staying in the class during 60 minutes and that's it, no. I told you from the very beginning that it's important that you learn something from Monday through Sunday, right? If you do so, you're going to learn the English, um, I mean, in a pretty fast way. Otherwise, you see, you're learning, yeah, I mean, you will learn English, but, you know, it's not going to be like, like very meaning, meaningful, right? So it's better when you, when you study some extra information by your own. Okay, now don't worry because I will get back with the homework. But in order for you to, sorry, I, I'm so sorry. That's the list attendance. Do not worry. This is the topic for intermediate students. And let me see hey, what, what's going on with which uh, this is the one. Okay. Can you can you see the information, people? Yes. Yeah. So we we are in the third week, right? Third week. Yes or no? So we are missing only one week in order to finish this level. Is that right? Yes, teacher. Yeah. So that means that, uh, you know, we need to move on and try to finish with all the activities uh, we have in the platform, okay? So, and the topics as well, because over here, we are going to learn something new. What's, what's new, people? Who can help me to read this info? In these lessons, participants will learn vocabulary for the screen people. In this lesson, participants will learn vocabulary for describing people. Describing people. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, so that's the objective, right? Tonight, we're going to start learning some vocabulary uh, to talk about appearance, physical appearance, okay? Because, you know, we can describe people in, in two different ways. Which are them? We can describe people in two different ways. What are those ways? One physically. is, okay, physically, physical appearance, and the other one? Personality. All oh, right, so you, you see, the um, physical appearance and uh, personality. But right now, in the info that we're going to see over here is about the appearance, right? So it's about physical, a description of a person, okay? Now, uh, start thinking about the way, the way you are, or how, how would you describe yourself? Vayanse fijando en, en la información que, que van a presentar acá, porque al final yo voy a preguntar, ¿cómo se describe usted mismo o usted misma? Por ejemplo, si, si usted es, es calvito como el teacher, Ya saben cómo se dice calvo, ¿verdad? Bold, bold. Que ya, 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 a mí se me está cayendo el pelo, que ya puedo decir que ya soy, ya pertenezco a ese grupo. Ok, entonces ustedes vayan viendo cómo, cómo se van a escribir al final, ok. Necesito que presten suma atención a esto y que al final traten de describirse a ustedes mismos. Here we, here we go. Take notes if you wish, right? They know if you want, so that at the end you can let us know about yourself. Hi, welcome to section nine. In this section, you will learn vocabulary to describe people. Look at the following pictures and repeat the adjectives of appearance after me. Hair, long brown hair, short blonde hair, straight black hair, curly red hair, bald, 
a mustache and a beard. Age, young, middle-aged, elderly, looks, handsome, good-looking, pretty. Height, short, fairly short, medium height, pretty tall, very tall. Okay, people, so as you can see, we have different categories, right? We have the first category is about hair. hair. The second one is about age. 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 The third one is about looks. 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 And the last one is about height. 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 All right. So in, in talking about hair, what kind of hair or what type of uh, hairstyles do we have? Long brown hair. Long, Long brown, brown hair. Brown, brown hair. Brown. The second one? Short, Short blonde hair. hair. Short, hair. Short blonde hair. Short the third hair. one? Straight, straight black hair. Black hair. Yeah. Straight black hair. The next one? Curly, Curly red, 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 hair. red hair. Curly red hair. And the last one? Ball. If the person has a mustache, a mustache and a beard, a mustache and a beard. Okay, beard. that's a beard. 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 beard, 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 beard. A bird. If you say bird, bird, this is it's a nave. Okay, bird. But this is beard, 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 beard. Talking beard. about age. Young. 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 Middle age. Middle age. Elderly. 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 Handsome. Handsome. Good looking. Good looking. Pretty. Short. Short. Fairly short. Fairly short. Medium. Medium, medium height, medium height, medium height, medium height, pretty tall, tall, pretty tall, very, very tall, very tall. Very tall. Very tall. Oh. Okay, now let us let us start. Let us start uh, practicing the vocabulary. Give me one second. I will last remember. Uh, some of you are going to try to describe yourself by saying a couple of words, right? It's not necessary that you describe yourself in detail. Uh, Miguel, how do you describe yourself by, by using the vocabulary we have in the in the uh, in the video now? Okay, I currently blood hair. Uh, I am uh, or I have. I have. I, I have, have curly, curly black hair. Curly black hair. hair. Very good. Um, I'm young. I and am young. I, I am young. young. I think I I am pretty tall. I am pretty tall. Okay, very good, Miguel. Yeah. And that's that, it. Uh, maybe a mustache and beard. And beard. Uh, uh, then you say I have a mustache and a beard. I have a mustache and a beard. All right, thank you. How would you describe yourself, Jancy? Okay, um, I have long brown hair. Good. Um, I am middle middle age. I middle think. age. Okay. Middle age. Looks pretty. And uh, you are pretty. You are pretty. And, uh, medium. I am sería medium height. Medium height. Is I am height. or yeah, I, I, am, I am height. medium height. I am medium height. Very good, Ileana. What about you? I have long brown hair. Uh, I think I'm young. <laughs> you are. Uh, uh, I'm pretty and I am medium height. You're yeah, medium height. Excellent. Very good. Uh, Carla, what about you? 
describe me yeah okay i have i have a uh, medium black hair don't stay in these examples <laughs> uh, okay uh, medium length eight, medium medium uh -huh. hair okay medium black hair age in my age uh, i stay in middle age Middle or age. age 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 mm -hmm. and looks um i don't <laughs> okay i'm good looking okay and i hey medium hey and you are a medium height woman Hi. thank you yes thank you very much Mayra. what can you tell us about you well uh, I have a stretch long hair. Straight. I am a stretch. Straight. 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 Yeah, straight. Straight. Straight long hair. Straight, straight. long hair. Okay. I am medium a middle age, and Good. I am a pretty woman, medium in middle height. Okay. Thank you very much, Adriana. What about you? And I have a brown hair. And I am a short. And I consider that I good looking. Okay. Remember that we say I, I am short. You say I am short. I am young. Okay. But you can say you can use a noun, right? So if you say I am a young man, I am a young woman. Okay. So that's the way you should use that info. Jonathan, what about you? No, I, I think Claudia, Claudia. After Claudia, Jonathan. I have long brown hair. I am short and young. You are short and a young lady. Good, Jonathan. I am curly black hair. I am or I have? Uh, sorry, I have. Curly, Curly black hair. Okay. Uh, I am middle age. Middle age. I okay. I am handsome. Why not? <laughs> uh, and I am very tall. You are very tall. Perfect. Pretty pretty nice. Francisco, let us know about the way you look like. Uh, okay. Um, I have curly uh, brown hair. I am nearly age. I think I look very handsome. Uh, my height are very tall. Um, maybe uh, I'm, I'm something I'm more short and beard. Oh, yeah. Right now. yeah, you have a mustache and a beard? Sometimes, not Some, right now. Not right now. Very good. Yeah. Luisa, thank you, Francisco. Yeah, I am medium height. Uh, I am, I am head, uh, short brown hair. I am middle age and I am pretty. You are a pretty woman, fantastic. <laughs> now who's missing? I think Glendy, right, Glendy? Hey, I can see Hiroki over here. Get ready, Hiroki. After Glendy, Hiroki. Hello. <laughs> um, I am curly black hair. I have I am Hiroki. John. Yeah. Yeah, we say I have uh, I curly have black, black hair. hair. I, I am young. Young. All right. Um I am look, I have looks handsome. Uh, I am they say I am handsome. I am handsome. Um I am held short. <laughs> and I am a short yeah. guy. Sure, okay, very good. Glendy, thank you, Hiroki. That was quite good. I had long brown hair. I am down. Um, I am short. Okay. Okay, really nice. Nerling? Hello, teacher. Hello there. Can you let us know about the way you look like? 
Um, I am your young man of medium age. Um, um, good luck. And you're a good looking guy. Yes. All right, very good. Now, I think Andres Meralda is missing, right? And Jennifer Ra Raquel. Let us continue with Andres Meralda. Okay. And... Okay, Andrea, after Andrea, we have uh, Esmer uh, Andrea, let me see. Who's the other person that's missing? Me, teacher. Ah, okay. Go ahead, please. Okay. I describe. I have long brown hair and I, I am young. And I go looking and I am fairly fairly short. You're fairly short. All right, thank you, Esmeralda. And yes. Jennifer is missing, right? Jennifer Raquel. Yes. Um I have long brown hair. I am middle aged. Um, I am the looking and I am short. And you are short. All right. Uh, is there anybody missing? Otherwise, we are going to move on uh, because I have some other activities. Okay, now just to just to finish with this vocabulary, remember you have to memorize the vocabulary. We're gonna listen to it and we are going to repeat. Okay. Some people say, I am a long brown hair. No, you don't say I am. Then you say, I have I long know. brown hair. I have short blonde hair. I have straight black hair. I have, I have, and I have. Oh, uh, 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 no, but over here, when you say bold, no. Then you say, I am bold. You don't say, I have bold. No, I am bold. I am. Yeah, I have a mustache and a beard. Now, on the other hand, when talking about age, H, sorry, then you say, I am young. But be careful with the pronunciation because if you say, I'm young, yo soy Juan. No, I am young, yo soy joven. Okay, so be careful with that pronunciation and make sure you are saying the right word. I am middle age, I am elderly, I am handsome, I am good looking, I am pretty. And remember, pretty is only for ladies. Handsome mm -hmm. is only for boys or gentlemen. Good looking can be for both, okay? A lady can say, I'm a good looking girl or a boy can say, I am a good looking boy. There's no problem, okay? Now talking about height, they say, I am short, I am fairly short, I am medium height, I am pretty tall, I am very tall. There are some, some other words that can, um, that we can use in order to talk about physical appearance. Uh, surf the internet and get three of them, three more. Vayan uh, a internet, okay? No vayan a compartir, por favor, pantalla, porque no es permitido, porque YouTube no puede uh, censurar el video de nuestra clase, pero eh, naveguen en internet y busquen tres palabras más y me las ponen en el chat. Tres palabras que no están ahí para describir a alguien. ¿Ok? Y colocan una oración por cada palabra. Los demás pueden copiar, pueden este, investigar el vocabulario que se va a compartir en unos momentos. Ok, aquí voy a estar pendiente del chat. Ok, three new words. So three new adjectives, ugly. <laughs> okay, Carla, he's ugly. Very good. <laughs> That's the first, Carla. I need three of them, ugly. Oh, all oh, three. Yeah, okay, three, okay. three. Ugly is the first. Look for another word. Physical appearance. Uh, teacher, three words or... Three words, three sentences. Three words, uh, three sentences. Okay. His ugly is the first one, Carla. Type one sentence there. 
Three sentences, people, as quickly as possible. Time is running. Told, should, but but we have told there, Carla. Use one that's not in the in the in the presentation. Oh, clever, very good, Eliana. We are clever, very good. Thing, Luisa, that's fantastic. But clever, Eliana, that's physical appearance. Clever. No. Uh, okay, so. I, I need has to be with physical. Yeah, physical appearance oh, only okay. right now. Okay, I wanna be muscular. Okay, Francisco, very good. Thing, Luisa, that's fantastic. I need I need to see the sentence, Luisa. She's slim, all right, very good, Francisco. Uh, fat, I stay very fat, uh, uh, or I'm very fat. Chubby, okay. David, mm. chubby, good. Chubby. Okay, type the sentence, please. Try to get a sentence. Yes. If you, the, the, that, no, okay, Francisco, that guy is with you. Gay is something yes. different, okay? But big, big is only for things, uh -huh. uh, Francisco. You may say tall. Okay, she has beautiful blue eyes. Excellent, Chancy. She has freckles. Okay, what's that? You are gonna let us know about it, Ileana. Okay, freckles. Oh, I know, yeah. I know what you're talking about, right? But may, maybe there are some people who don't know here. Friendly, but uh, can we say friendly? It's physical appearance, Jonathan. Funny and generous can be physical appearance. But that's more about personality. I have a small nose. Is, is personality? Yeah, that's right. Now let us focus our mind in physical appearance. Thank you, Jonathan. Slim, very good, small nose. Okay, Adriana. Well, we got a lot of info over here, right? We got some new words. Okay, I think it's enough, people. You can do it later. Ah, uh, let me see. Myra typed. She has beautiful and big eyes. Good, Mayra. She has. She has a wavy hair and they are fit. All right. Pretty good, Miguel. That's fantastic. Okay, let us stop moving here. Let us stop and let us try to move on. Okay, now that we got uh, more info, like more uh, adjectives, now I can see knurling. Nerling included some more examples. I am very charismatic. You are very friendly, and he is very calm. But but Nerling, those are, those are more about a personality. Okay, now keep them in mind because later you are going to use them. Don't worry. Curly hair. My curly hair is beautiful. Brown eyes. My, many people have brown eyes. Slim. Uh, or thin people and in any volume are beautiful. Okay, thank you, Andrea. I got it. Frank is thin and very tall. Thank you, Luisa. And let's see. Now, now that we got a, a general idea, or we got some more, some other words. Let us see what's going on with the with the next part. Okay, so remember we are talking about. This how to describe people. We have another objective over here, and in, in, in this part, you know, you will be able to listen to a conversation with two people describing one another, or I think describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. Okay. So we're gonna go over this listening activity, and you will see what we no, 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 it's not this one. Let me see. Yeah, it's, this is a conversation. Okay, so we have a conversation. Let us listen to it, okay? And if you want to repeat, you can repeat, okay?
Let me know if you are able to listen to Hello it, to please. All. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. So let's continue then. Other person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. All right. Okay, now we're going to listen to it, and then you are going to repeat, people. I will play the video, so you will repeat. Then I will ask one by one to repeat each sentence, okay? We're going to practice pronunciation. Here we go. Hello to all. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation between two people describing another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Hi. Okay, let me see. I, I, I mean, you need to repeat it by, by, by closing your, your microphone, right? Later, then I will ask somebody to repeat it uh, to the class. Uh, let's see. Jennifer, the first part, please. I hear you have a new girlfriend. Uh, look. Uh, give me one second. I'm sorry. That was my fault. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Uh-huh. I hear you don't have a new girlfriend, Randy. Okay, now everybody. Well, I won't use this. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Oh, Randy, right? I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Now, Jonathan, breathe, please. The second one? No, the, the first part. Okay. I hear you have a new girf girlfriend, Randy. Girlfriend, Randy. Good. Okay. Let's move on with the next part, please. Yes. Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. All right. Uh, Carla? Yes. I repeat. Please, the repeat first. the, the second. I mean, you repeat the first and the second. Oh, okay. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Okay, everybody, gorgeous. 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 Now, what's the meaning of gorgeous? Uh, can you look for the meaning of gorgeous in, in the in internet? And then let us know about what that word means. Go and look for the word gorgeous. And then. Grandiosa. Eh, eh, sorry? Grandiosa, impresionante. In Spanish. Oh, okay. But th there is another meaning. Gorgeous. Look for the word in, in, in the internet, please. Oh, Splendido. Miguel. Miguel Splendida. Gari. Okay. Splendido. Yeah. So it's like, you know, Pre beautiful. It, it's, it's, you know, it's. Pretty, we have pretty, we have beautiful, and then we have gorgeous. Like gorgeous is, is like stronger. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, gorgeous. Remember about that word, gorgeous, gorgeous. gorgeous. Okay, repeat it as many times as you wish. John C., you will be in charge of the third part. Really? What does she look like? Really? What does she look like? Really? What does she look like? Good. Really? Thank you. Okay, Jancy, like? you will repeat from the very beginning. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Okay. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. And really? she is? And she is gor gor gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Excellent. Pretty good. That's right. So then we are going to have Jocelyn. Claudia, you are going to be in charge of the next part. Well, she's very tall. Well, she's very tall. Well, she's very tall. 
Well, she is very tall. Okay, from the very beginning, Claudia. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name is Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Gorgeous? Really, what does she look like? Well, she's very tall. All right, now let's repeat after me, oh, please, uh, Claudia. She. 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 Yeah, that's right, because, you know, it, it's better to say it that way, uh, because if you say she, that doesn't uh, sound that well. Okay, so remember about she. She. Thank you, Claudia. That was fantastic. Okay, then we have Catherine. Next part. Oh. How tall? How tall? How tall? Hey, from the very beginning, Catherine. Okay. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name is Ashley. And she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? Thank you. That was quite good. Hey, remember, the question is, really? What does she look like? Really? What does she look like? So you need to make emphasis in, in, a, in a question mark, okay? How tall? Okay. okay, then we have, let me see. Uh, David Alonso. Okay. Okay, David Alonso, here we go. About six feet two, I suppose. Yeah. I hear you have an... David? I hear you have a new girlfriend, Brandy. Uh, uh, no, yes. only, only this part, uh, uh, David. Okay. Ab about? About six feet, six feet two, I suppose. Excellent. Now, yes, from the very beginning. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Brandy. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Fantastic. Uh, uh, about six feet two, I suppose. Fantastic. Congrats. Then we have Hiroki. Okay, Hiroki, be ready. This is your part. Hiroki, are you ready? Yes. Okay, so pay attention and let us know the way you listen to it. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? Wow, that's that's tall. What's, what color is her? Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? Good, Hiroki, from the very beginning, please. The first? Yeah. Okay. I heard you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley. And she's gorgeous. 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 Really? What does, what does she look like? What does she look like? What does she look like? Good. Well, she's were very tall. How tall? About six feet to uh, so, suppose. Wow, that is tall. That is tall. That is tall. What is is her hair? What es color? que me confunde decir las dos cosas de un solo um, porque suenan casi igual. That is, is tall? No. What is color is? Uh, her, what color is? What color is her hair? Hair hair. Hair hair. Uh -huh. her, 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 her hair. What color is her hair? Okay. Okay, Hiroki. Hey, Hiroki. Uh, continue practicing uh, the, the conversation because later I think uh, we're going to have a. Um, you are going to participate again. Okay. Thank okay. You. And thank you. And then we have Nerly. Nerly, next part. Nerly, are you ready? Hello. Yes. Okay, so here we go. She has beautiful red hair. 
She has beautiful red hair. Excellent. Now, from the very beginning, nearly. Okay. Thank you. I hear you have a new girlfriend. Girlfriend. Randy? Girlfriend, girlfriend. Girl, girlfriend. Girlfriend. Girlfriend, Randy? Yes, her name's... Okay, Hustler. her name's... Names. names. Yeah. Hustler, and she's gorgeous. 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 Really? What does what do what does she look like? 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 Okay, something that you need to learn is the following. Uh, Nerlin, give me one second, please. Algo que tienen que aprender. Cuando tengan una S acá y la otra empieza con S también, entonces solo van a hacer un sonido. Does she? Oh. What does she look like? Por eso es que oye que... Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, Nerlin. What does she look like? It okay, sounds better. Very good. Okay. Well, she's very tall. Good. How tall? Excellent. About six feet two. I suppose. 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 Good. Well, that is tall. What color is her hair? All right. She has beautiful red hair. Thank you, Nerlin. That was fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me see. Another participant. Mayra. Okay, Mayra, that's for you. Okay. So be ready. Yes. And how old is she? And how old is she? Excellent. From the very beginning, please, Mayra. Okay. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name is Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? Fantastic. That was quite good. Okay. And the last part going to be, let me see, people who haven't participated. Well, I think everybody has done it, right? Well, uh, Glendy, okay, Glendy, you are, you're going to be in charge of the last part. Thank you, Glendy. I don't know. Um, she won't I Glendie? I hear you had a new, can you listen? Yeah, the, only the last part, Glendy. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know, she won't tell me. I don't know, she won't tell me. Okay, now yeah, from the very beginning. Glendy. I, he I hear you had a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley and she's gorgeous. Gorgeous? Really? Gorgeous. 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 Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. She won't tell me. Fantastic. She okay, so listen, uh, listen to about, about one activity we're going to have tomorrow. Se van a memorizar toda la conversación. Okay, yo mañana voy a decir quién es quién. O sea, usted tiene que estar preparado con, con jugar el rol de Emily o de Randy. O sea, se van a aprender las dos. Bien pronunciado. Y lo voy a poner este, nuevamente para que, para que veamos el ritmo. Cómo, debe, cómo debemos sonar, ¿ok? Vamos a tratar. Yo sé que a lo mejor a, a ahorita no lo, no lo vamos a lograr al 100%, pero tenemos que irnos enfocando a lograr ese ritmo de cómo los americanos hablan, ¿verdad? Yo sé que a lo mejor quizás nunca vamos a hablar exactamente como ellos lo, ha, lo hacen, 
pero debemos de tratar de imitarlo lo más cercanamente posible a su idioma. Así que, pay attention. In another person, adjectives of appearance will be practiced. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. All right, so, ¿estamos claros con la primera actividad para el día de mañana? Yes. Ok, memorizárselo. Ok, no todo el tiempo vamos a memorizar, pero sí algunas veces lo vamos a hacer. Ok. Eh, me interesa que eh, veamos lo del ritmo de la conversación, la pronunciación. Ok, si es una pregunta, hacer el sonido de pregunta. Me interesa mucho que nos familiaricemos con eso. Ok, now, oops, time is running. Give me one second, please. She's very tall. Ok, lesson objective. We're going to go over this part. Ok, I think uh, we're going to we're gonna continue with it uh, tomorrow. Ok, but you will see. We're going to learn how to describe and ask questions about a, a person's appearance. So, and it calls my attention on the following activity. Esa es una actividad que vamos, vamos a dejar pendiente para mañana. Les voy a explicar qué vamos a hacer. Mientras, mientras yo paso la lista ahorita, vamos a aprovechar esos minutitos para que ustedes empiecen a investigar eh, acerca de cómo describir a una persona que ustedes admiran. Ahorita vimos la apariencia. Hay mucha información acerca de apariencia, ¿ok? No es solo lo que acabamos de ver, pero van a hacer una presentación acerca de una persona que ustedes admiran. ¿Cómo lo van a describir? Físicamente y eh, ¿Cómo es su personalidad? Para eso, van a tener estos últimos 10 minutos para que empiecen a, a preparar la información, empiecen a investigar pronunciación, vocabulario, etcétera, para que el día de mañana, pues ya tengan lista su pequeña presentación, ¿ok? Nos vamos a ir en las dos vías, física, mente y de personalidad. ¿Les parece? Sí. Ok, so, entonces sí. voy a pasar lista ahorita, me ayudan con la lista, mientras eh, trabajan también en su actividad. Teacher, can you repeat the, the homework? The activity, I... sure. Yeah, please. Van a hacer una presentación donde van a describir a una persona que ustedes admiran. Puede ser un famoso, puede ser mamá, puede ser papá, puede ser su hijo. Alguien que ustedes admiran, pero lo van a describir de manera física y respecto a su personalidad. Ok. Thanks, teacher. All right. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Ok. List the tenants, people. Help me with this. This is quite important for me and for you also. Adriana Gretel. Here. Andrea Esmeralda. Present. Claudia Jocelyn. Present. David Alonso. Present. Francisco Alexander. Present. Gabriela Guadalupe. Glendy Elisette. Present. Ileana Beatriz. I'm here. Irving Hiroki. Present. Eh, Jennifer Raquel. Present. Jonathan Vladimir. Present. Eh, Jose Miguel. Uh, no, sorry. Josué Miguel. Here. Carla Tatiana. Present. Catherine Jasmine. Present. Luisa Ariana. Present. Mayra Patricia. Present. Nerling. 
Present teacher. A. Jancy Jamilet. Present. Hey, that was fantastic. Everybody's in the class. Congratulations, people. Hey, los quiero felicitar. Voy a hacer un paréntesis. Voy a hacer un paréntesis. Los quiero felicitar porque yo siempre le digo esto a los grupos que, que se me son asignados, de que siempre los felicito porque ustedes hacen la diferencia. Y ustedes van a decir, ¿cómo, teacher? Simple. Están en un curso de inglés de 9 a 10 de la noche. ¿Qué hace la mayoría de personas a esta hora? Dormir. Watch TV. Ver televisión. Revisar Facebook. Revisar Thanks. otra cosa. Pero ustedes ya ven que sí son súper especiales. Porque oh. hacen la diferencia. Hacen la diferencia. ¿Verdad? O otras personas ahorita estu estuvieran durmiendo. Pero ustedes están cultivando mm -hmm. su su profesionalismo. Se, va, se van a ser bilingües, tarde o temprano, y eso se lo aseguro. No cualquiera se, se pone un horario de 9 a 10 y estar 100% atento en la clase. O sea, eso es de admirar. Así que los quiero felicitar por eso. Um, so, tomorrow Thank estamos, you, teacher. estamos claros con, lo, con la actividad, las dos actividades de mañana. Yes, yes. 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 ¿Cuál es la primera? Memorizar. Memorizar. Ojo, pero memorizar no solo lo que dice ahí, también vamos a memorizar la intonación, la pronunciación y el ritmo. En realidad el ritmo de esa conversación es, no es tan rápido. Ustedes han escuchado norteamericanos cuando hablan, naturalmente lo hacen súper rápido. Y uno se queda ahí a saber qué dijo. Entonces, ¿saben cuál es la clave? Yo he aprendido algo. En todo el tiempo que tengo estudiar inglés, aprendí que para aprender esos ritmos de habla, para aprender este, pronunciación, lo único que debemos hacer es mantenernos conectados con el idioma. Todo el tiempo. ¿Saben que les voy a, les voy a decir un secreto que a mí, a mí me sirvió mucho? Yo soy cristiano y yo escucho pre, un predicador que habla inglés, predica en inglés. Lo oigo día y noche y eso me funciona mucho. Ustedes pueden tomar una técnica, o sea, si, si no son religiosos, pues pueden buscar un speech del señor Obama o de alguna persona que habla un speech de, de unos sus 20 minutos y tener ahí el script para que ustedes vayan escuchando y vayan leyendo al mismo tiempo. Aunque no lo entiendan todo, tarde o temprano nuestro cerebro es tan... Dios nos ha dado un cerebro tan maravilloso que eh, poco a poco él va, él va identificando. Ok, ese es uno de mis consejos. Ya estamos a la tercera semana. No sé si, si después de este nivel nos vamos a volver a encontrar o van a tener otro teacher, pero son algunos de, de los consejos que a mí me gusta darle a mis estudiantes. Ok, so... Eh, para aprovechar los cinco minutos y que nos cuenten los 60 minutos que se nos recomiendan siempre estar en la clase, vamos a hacer algo. Voy a empezar a preguntar qué es lo que tienen respecto a la presentación de mañana, ¿ok? Ok, Ileana, what did you get? Who are you going to talk about tomorrow? I'm going to talk about uh, Freddie Mercury. Ok. Did you get some info about him? Uh, I was looking for some information, but I didn't get uh, like something specific. Okay, I recommend you to to talk about a person who is alive, because then you are gonna start talking about a person in the past tense, right? So because you you will say he wore a mustache, he wore that's past, right? Or he had a mustache, okay? But let us try to use simple present, okay? Please, 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 please. Actually, that was a good a good uh, choice, but it's better if you choose somebody. Why don't you talk about Mr. Piqué or about Shakira? <laughs> okay, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> They are in fashion now, right? Están de moda ellos dos, no? Okay, so let, let, us, let us talk about them, please. Luisa, who are you going to talk about tomorrow? Maybe my father. Oh, that's fantastic. Somebody you admire, right? 
your father. Wow, that's a, I think it's going to be amazing. Okay, we're going to know about him tomorrow. Personality and physical appearance, please. Ah, and if you if you want, you can create like a a, a, a a mini presentation by using a PowerPoint or by using uh, a Word document, something that you can reflect your presentation, okay? That you can show everybody about the person you're talking. Uh, Jan Jancy, what about you? Mm, I think um, about Shakira because he's the, he's the, uh, is the artist at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I think so, right? <laughs> you see, there is a lot of... The, the singer. Huh? She's a singer. Also. She's, yeah. She sings beautifully, right? I think she sings. Yes, I, I like I like she, but uh, she is a good person. For me, I, I think it's a good person. For Shakira. Okay, Shakira. I am talk tomorrow. I am going to talk about Shakira. About Shakira. Good. Carla, what can you tell about the person you're presenting tomorrow? I tell about the uh, actress. Uh, her name is Brooke Child. Okay. American? Is she American? I, I... Is she from the United States? I saw. Uh, you think? So, okay, oh, thank yes. you. Yes. Okay, so. so we're gonna know about her tomorrow. Hiroki? Mm, maybe Johnny Depp? Johnny Depp, all yeah. right. Oh, there's another situation there, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like the opposite, right? Because we have Piquet, that's a billion, and then we have it. Who's the other person, Hiroki? What? Who is the person you are presenting tomorrow? Johnny, Johnny Depp, Depp, right? And then yeah. now Johnny Depp is like the like the, the other. Um, it's like another uh, story, right? So yeah. tomorrow we are going to know about his physical appearance and about his personality. No more than that, right? Because if you talk about their situation, okay, that will be another story, right? Francisco, what's all about? Wow, uh, I think so. Um, I can uh, describe uh, um, myself. You can describe yourself, sure. Yeah, Why because not? I, the person I know, I know perfect. Okay, so um, I think maybe, everybody... I don't know, I'm not sure. So. Okay, that, that's quite good. That's really nice. You can do it, okay? Okay. Okay, and let me see. Mayra, who are you talking about tomorrow? I talk about my mother. Your mother. Perfect. Thank you. Jonathan, what about you? Mm, tomorrow I will talk about Messi. Messi? Yes. Okay. Okay, good option. Nerling? Um, Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Okay, yeah. a very wealthy man. Good. And finally, Andrea, who are, you, who are you gonna talk about tomorrow? Um, I will talk about my father. Your father, perfect. That's fantastic, people. So think deeply about the information you will present tomorrow. And be sure. Uh, algo que les quería decir antes de cerrar la sesión es que cuando presenten, no lean, por favor. Tratemos de irnos memorizando el vocabulario, la información. Aunque no sea mucho, ok, si usted encuentra información de cinco páginas, no se aprenda las cinco. Apréndase lo que usted considere que puede aprenderse y eso presente, ¿no? Pero, pero mm, creo que es más beneficioso si nos lo aprendemos que si lo leemos, ok. Poco, pero de calidad. Eso, eso necesito, ok. Así que los veo el día de mañana. Dios me los bendiga, que descansen. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. God bless you.